Well, we were invited by Tesla to go to the Plaid launch event and it was so much fun. It was such an amazing event. So we flew out to California, got to go to the event and get a first hand experience of what it's like in a Plaid Model S. So the event overall was pretty awesome and we got a really good detailed look at a lot of the things that are changing for the Model S and eventually the Model X as well. Tesla did have a number of cars outside that you could sit in, you could interact with and really check it out. So we got a really good look at the new user interface that's coming as well as what the interior looks like, all the new screens, you got to feel that awesome acceleration. And then some people even got to take delivery the day of the event. So there were 25 cars there for delivery for people who had an order in for this car. Those lucky few did get to come to the event, experience all of the activities, and then take that car home with them at the end of the day, which is pretty awesome. So let's go over some of the details of some of the things that we've confirmed and some of the things that are kind of rumors that were dispelled last night. So here's the recap overall. This is probably one of the first events, maybe very few events that Tesla has launched that we didn't learn anything new. Of course, the Model S Plaid Plus was going to feature the new 4680 battery cells. That has since been canceled. Tesla is gonna focus just on the Model S Plaid, and Elon Musk says because it's just so good. And I don't necessarily disagree. However, it is disappointing to see that those battery cells did not make their way in. A lot of people were speculating before the event that the new Model S Plaid would feature these new 4680 cells. That's turning out not to be the case. And while we were at the event live streaming, I did have the opportunity to look at one of these cars that was up on its side. Now, this car was to show the coefficient of drag, which is the lowest of any car ever, which is really cool. But on the bottom, what you can see is the battery pack is bolted onto the car. This is not a frame-in battery that is going to be required for the new 4680 cells. So this is gonna to continue to get the existing battery cells that have always been in the Model S and Model X. However, it does have new chemistry, which does help with range. Tesla has recently updated their website for the Model S, and actually the range went down a little bit on the long range all-wheel drive, as well as the Model S Plaid. Not a whole lot of impact there, but there was some. So it's unclear exactly why it went down, but because it was so minor, I think that it probably had something to do with some of the final testing with perhaps the wheels that ultimately went on the car. Of course, this Model S Plaid is the first production car ever to go zero to 60 in less than two seconds. And let me tell you, it is like nothing else I've ever experienced in my entire life. The acceleration was absolutely insane. So unfortunately, there wasn't a whole lot available about the Model X that will be coming at the beginning of next year. That continues to see delays, and although I'm not 100% sure why, looking at the one Model X they had was kind of telling that all the focus has been on the Model S Plaid. So they did have this one Model X and you were able to get in, sit in it, and it did feature the new interior with the new screens, with the yoke steering wheel, and all the updates that are coming with the refresh, at least on the inside. Everything else was basically the same. On the outside, it features the same panels all the way around. Although there are some slight updates to the headlights, the taillights looked basically the same as well though. The Model X Plaid that they had out there, a lot of the things didn't work on the car and I don't know if it was because they were shut off because it was in like a demo mode or if it's because they just haven't spent the time to get all these features up and running in the new Model X. I'm thinking it's more like that because it was clear that the Model S Plaid had a lot more functionality than this per one particular Model X. So there's still a lot of work to be done on the Model X Plaid, which is not great news for those of you wanting to get the Model X Plaid. However, the Model S Plaid did go up by $10,000 right before the event, and the Model X Plaid is still at $119,990. So actually it's cheaper to get a Model X Plaid than it is to get a Model S Plaid. So if you're thinking about getting a Model X Plaid, I'd highly recommend going ahead and putting your order in now, lock in that price just in case they'll honor it at time of delivery next year. Of course, this new Model S Plaid does feature the heat pump that was introduced into the Model Y when it launched, then moved into the Model 3. So now the Model S and the Model X, presumably, will also have that heat pump. These heat pumps work exceptionally well, way better than the resistive heaters that were in cars of the past. It's supposed to be about 30% more efficient than those resistive heaters that used to be featured in them. In addition, all this extra power is seen throughout the entire speed spectrum. 
Elon Musk did claim that this will have over a thousand horsepower all the way up to the max speed of 200 miles per hour. And during our test ride, that was one of the things that was very clear. This car pulls non-stop. A lot of Teslas in the past, they have that incredible acceleration. It throws you back in your seat and you can really feel it. But you can start to feel it taper off as you accelerate. This S Plaid just continued to push, 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 push all the way up to speed. Also, we knew of course this was going to come with three motors and the way that this is set up, the two motors in the rear are bolted together and it's going to be more efficient that way and it has over 700 foot pound of torque just on those two rear motors. That doesn't include the one up front. It's pretty incredible. In addition, this is a completely new design and a completely different way of putting these electric motors together. In fact, they had to design a carbon fiber wrap that goes around the motor just to keep it in place because all of the heat and all of the things that are happening in there want to make this thing expand and it's got to hold it together. So what they're able to do here is so incredible and cannot be understated. The engineering that was put into this car is next level stuff, which is really awesome. We did see an update on Tesla's website just before the event that did show new wheels are coming to the Model S Plaid. We did get to see the upgraded wheels on all the cars that were featured during this event. These wheels do look really nice and I think it helps to bring everything together on the outside of the car with all the blackout. So there was a lot of talk about additional cameras up by the headlights and also up by the emblem. Well, I did take a close look and there are no such cameras on anything on the front other than what we're used to seeing in the past. Now the rear camera does seem to be upgraded a little bit better quality and with that new 17 inch screen, it looks really awesome. I was not able to prove or get anybody to confirm that the screen in the front of the car does tilt. None of the Tesla associates at the event said that it did, and I could not make it do it while I was in it either. Now the gaming system in the car is incredible. The screen that I got to watch this guy playing the game in was unbelievable. It was like OLED. I don't know that it's actually OLED, but the graphics were incredible. They were playing cyberpunk just for reference. Additionally, Tesla did have their own remote controls. So I don't know if these are gonna come with the car, but they did develop their own remote control. It looks a lot like a PlayStation controller, but it's made to mimic the yoke steering wheel, which is, I guess, kind of cool. So the other thing that we found out, you can stream a video on the front and rear screen, but you cannot stream two different videos. You can, however, stream a video up front and play a game in the back or vice versa. You can do two different things on the front and back, just not within the same application. So that's kind of cool. It allows for some flexibility. A lot of people don't understand the value of that screen in the back, but if you have kids, I think you know exactly where this is going. In addition, when we do get to a full self-driving autonomous future, you're going to need something to do while you're in the car, whether that's do work or maybe watch a show, play a game. That's what this is all pointing to, an autonomous future where you have the ability to play some pretty high requirement games in your car, which I guess is kind of cool. They also have an updated sound system that has 22 speakers and is also a noise canceling system that's going to help pump white noise into the cabin to help with some of that soundproofing. In addition, all the windows are double pane now, so I can tell you at 100 plus miles an hour, it was extremely quiet in the cab of that car, which is something Tesla has not been known for in the past. These new seats are absolutely gorgeous. They're very comfortable. And one of the cool things was, Elon Musk did explain that they were able to slim some of the dimensions down on the inside of the car. By doing so, they were able to move the front seats forward just a bit to give additional leg room in the back. Also, the door cards are much slimmer as well, giving you more width in the back seat. So dimensionally on the inside, this is a more comfortable car, which is great news. Also, another one of the big things that was nice to see is when the Model 3 launched, it had this new generation of HVAC system where it's using air to blow air wherever it wants in the car. And it is a ventless system that is very nice. We're finding out now that that vent is going to be implemented in both the Model S and X, which is great news. I think that this system is very nice, it's very comfortable, and a lot better than messing with vent knobs. So of course, the best part of this whole event was getting the opportunity to sit passenger seat in the Model S Plaid and go for a lap around their track. 
It was like nothing I've ever experienced before. I was able to live stream it so people were able to watch it real time, but here's what that looked like. All right, we're going into cheetah, cheetah mode. mode. Cheetah mode. We're cheetah mode, animation. engaged. All right. Here we go, Ready? guys. Yep. Three, two, one. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, we're still going. Holy. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> when I say that it pulls and it doesn't stop pulling, I mean it pulls. You don't get that taper off as you're starting to speed up. The first ride that I went on, we went up to about 110 miles an hour before letting off. And then he started to accelerate again into the turn and I swear it felt like, oh my God, this car is going to let loose and we are going to spin off of this track. But it just held on tight and did incredible. I'm not surprised to see that the Model S Plaid is setting records at tracks across the world. Now we got really lucky and we got to take a second ride in the Model S Plaid. Now this time I did take the opportunity to take a look at the charge of the car. I asked the driver how many laps he'd done and I believe he said 30 or 32 laps he's already done. The battery was still at 67%. And that's kind of what's incredible about this updated chemistry as well as these new motors. This car is not losing its ability to maintain that power as it continues to do run after run after run. And it's because the cooling system on this has been upgraded and it's much larger than the normal model or previous models. That's why they're able to maintain all this acceleration all the way through and do it again and again and again and again. This is a true trap car. It's incredible how fast this thing was. Now with all that said, the one thing that was a little interesting was at this event, I don't know how many wait, there's one more things we were waiting for, but there was nothing more to come from this event. As a matter of fact, everything we learned, we kind of already knew. There were no surprises and we certainly didn't learn anything about any other model. There were no other models other than all the S plaids, one model X plaid, no other cars were there, unfortunately. Now, that's okay, I suppose, but I think it's starting to show a shift from Tesla. They have so many priorities globally right now that I continue to scratch my head on how they keep up with all this stuff. At the end of the day, the only way I can explain it is I believe the Model S Plaid just ruined every other Tesla for me, at least from a performance perspective. The acceleration was unlike anything I've ever experienced before and I always thought my Model Y was fast. I don't so much think it's quite as fast anymore after riding that car because it was just out of this world. Literally, if you have a Model S Plaid, the chances of running into a car that is faster are almost zero. It would have to be a hand-built, one-off car that's gonna be faster than this, and this is a production car. That's what makes this so incredible, what they were able to do with this car. Nonetheless, the future looks bright, and the future is going to be fast. There's no question about it. I'm excited to see what lessons learned from the Model S Plaid work their way into the other models that Tesla is working on. Certainly this new motor configuration and whatever they did with the battery cells for the Model S and X, I'm wondering if that's gonna flow its way into the Y and the three before, of course, the 4680 cells show up. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Of course, if you did, give it the thumbs up. It helps out tremendously. If you haven't already, of course, subscribe to the channel as we continue to post content regularly. You can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Tesla. Thanks so much for joining us and we'll catch you next time.